Well, good morning, City Church. I hope you are all well. It's good to be able to bring another part of the Lord's Word to you this morning, and hopefully it will enable you to uh, direct some of your prayers and thoughts this morning. I wanted to speak to you just on Acts chapter 16, and uh, some uh, some encouraging words, hopefully, uh, which are very applicable to, to our current situation. And I guess if you were going to call this uh, devotion anything, it would be something along the lines of, the best laid plans. Now, Acts chapter 16, we pick up with Paul and Silas as they are traveling around, spreading the good news of Jesus to the Gentile world. And we come to uh, chapter uh, 16 and verse 6, uh, and, and we pick up just a description, I guess, of what they've been doing. Uh, and verse 6 reads, And they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. And when they had come up to Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. Now, I find that really interesting, um, and maybe we've read this and passed over this before, but you have Paul and Silas here who want to go and do something good. They want to go and spread the gospel. Initially, we're told to uh, the people in Asia, uh, and then to uh, the people in Bithynia. Uh, and both times um, we read that they were forbidden to do so, not by men and not by opposition that they faced of the gospel, but actually the spirit of Jesus didn't allow them to do it. And I don't know about you, but I find that really interesting and, and quite humbling as well. Often we can have our own plans on things that we think, well, this is a good thing. Why is this not allowed to happen? Or I can really make an impact here. Why are we current restrict, currently restricted and I'm not able to do that? And actually, we often think that our plans for even doing good and for, for making uh, a positive impact in this world or for the gospel, uh, because they are good, uh, they should be allowed to go ahead. But actually, from what you see here, Paul and Silas wanted to go and speak the gospel to these people, but actually... God said no. And that must have been very difficult for them to, to take and to understand. And I think we can really relate to that, can't we? Particularly amongst our current difficulties. I'm sure a lot of us are thinking of things that we maybe should be doing right now instead of being in lockdown. Maybe things that we could be doing. Maybe things that we think, Lord, this, cause this was only going to be a good thing. How can I be in this situation and now we're not able to do it? But as you read on in this part of, part of Acts, uh, it moves on to Paul getting a vision. Uh, verse 9 reads, uh, A vision appeared to Paul in the night, and a man of Macedonia was standing there, urging him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. And when Paul had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go into Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. So I just want to encourage you with the words in this passage. You may have made plans for this period of your life. You may have had an idea in your head of how things were going to go. And do you know what? Those plans may be ruined. And do you know what? It's right to mourn for that. But it's also important to remember that God has his own plans. God's plans haven't been disrupted by coronavirus. God's plans haven't been thrown into disarray by this situation. But actually, God has another plan. And as is almost always the case, it is often not the plan that we expect. And as is always the case, God's plan is always far better. So I just want to encourage you really to trust the Lord today, to be thankful for the blessings that we do have, and also rest in the knowledge that actually God has a plan for this world, for our church, for our community. Uh, and that plan is no doubt far greater than what we could have imagined. So uh, just uh, encourage you, uh, please do uh, be keeping uh, one another in prayer and, and remember to rest in God's plans.